Hello and welcome to Pitch and Put Golf. Today I'm going to have a bit of a review on a system that I bought a couple of months ago. Uh, and it is the Arcos Caddy. Uh, and I also bought the Link as well. Now, this is my opinion only. And, I, you know, I'm not paid to do this. But uh, I'll just take you through what you get in the, in the box. First off, you get the little tags. You put these into your uh, top of your golf clubs. And there's this one, which is the, it's totally black. Uh, the others have got some green around them. And that goes into your putter. Once you've done that, you download the app and you link them to your irons and your driver and your putter. Quite easy to do. I mean, the app's straightforward enough. Uh, and then what you do when you go round, you, you actually just press start round and it goes round the golf course and every shot you hit, it's supposed to uh, track that through GPS. Well, being totally honest, bought it and it's not cheap, and, I think it was 175 pound for for that system. I didn't realise at the time that you also have to subscribe to Arcos, but they give you the first year free. Uh, to be honest, I was very disappointed, and I mean very disappointed. Uh, the first time I used it, it just didn't track at all. Uh, I thought I'd done something wrong, so uh, I, I tried again. And I think I got 13 holes, 13 holes, and then my phone battery went flat. So that's why I went out and bought the link. The link is again, it's Bluetooth connects straight to the uh, to the tags. So when you're playing, you, I mean, you put it up on your phone first, but then what you do, you turn it on, and it it's supposed to sort all your GPS and your tagging out without having to use your phone. So I thought brilliant. Put it on, played three or four rounds, and exactly the same. Just wasn't tracking all the shots. Uh, and again, that's not cheap. That were 125 quid. Or 125 pounds, sorry. So I was very disappointed. Uh, got in touch with Arcos uh, on a number of occasions, and they told me yeah, some fixes to do. I did one of the fix, which meant turning my phone into uh, aeroplane mode which actually did resolve the battery flattening problem uh, and it did track most of the shots to be honest I, you know I can't knock it so I would imagine if your phone battery does last I mean mine's not an old phone it's, uh, it's a Samsung uh, S8 so it's a couple of years old but you would have thought 100% uh, battery which normally lasts me three days, it would have lasted, but it didn't. So I was a little bit disappointed. And then when I bought the link, I actually did think, you know, this will resolve the problem. Because I, I was looking for data. I was looking for data. And that's that data, what I was hoping that it would improve my goal. Well, the data that I've got is not worth anything. Uh, I'm not saying that the Arcos system doesn't work because I've heard so many people say good things about it but uh, I don't I just don't know I just so what do I expect me to do? Go out and buy a brand new phone the, you know I bought the link 125 quid so it should have it should have worked fine so yeah very disappointed so what I've actually gone on to now and I'm waiting for it to arrive is the shot scope version 3. Uh, would I re recommend the Arcos? <laughs> for some people it works fine, for me it's just not. I've done everything that it says, I've even gone on to the help, outlines and emails between us and it's just come back come back, and it's basically telling me things that you know like put into aeroplane mode or you know try this try that. I'm following you paying like 300 quid plus subscription it's a lot of money a lot of money that I feel as I've just wasted 
Uh, so like I say, they, they'll get sold, I'll put them on eBay and but I, if anybody asks me what they like, I will give them my honest opinion. I, I just feel that they're, they're not as good as people are making out. I've got a, a Garmin S20 watch, which I mean, it, I mean, I could buy the little tags for the uh, for the Garmin, but again, they're quite expensive. So I've, I've gone for the the Shotscope V3, and we'll see how that goes on. I will do a review on that uh, in the next week or so. But my opinion is, if you're new to golf, keep away from our course. Uh, like I say, it is quite expensive and you've got a subscription to pay as well. And that's a yearly subscription. Your first year is totally free and after that you'll be paying your subscription. And like I say, I do know people that are using it and they find it fine. But my honest opinion, I would keep away. There's, there's better... I, I believe there's better things on the market. So that's a quick review from Pitch and Put. Like I said, I'm new to golf and I'm, I'm learning quite a lot. Uh, but I want something that's going to be easy. I want something where I can get data off. Uh, I, and I thought that that was a piece of kit that I required. Not knowing that, you know, the, the downsides of it, which is running your battery flat on your phone uh, subscription and then like I say if your battery is running flat all the time having to buy the link uh, and if there were if there were come as a package and it was say 150 150 pound you know and it it did what it said on uh, on the box then I would be quite happy to pay that because uh, it was the data that we're after hopefully to improve my game so there you are that's that's the review would I give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Well, definitely a thumbs down from me. Uh, but I do, like I said, I do know all the people use it and they've had no issues. Uh, but a lot of people use it and have the same issues that I've had. So it's, it's down to your own opinion. But somebody new to golf, keep away. Okay. So that's it from Pitch and Put. Next review will be the Shot Scope version 3 again I've had lots of people tell me about this uh, this watch and uh, we'll, we'll just see how, how it goes. Mm -hmm.